Hey, this is Kat, and welcome to We Imagine's Doll World, where we think you're never too old to outgrow your love of dolls. And since we love dolls so much, we wanted to share everything that goes along in our doll collecting world. So today I have Miss Samantha here with me, and we have a special surprise in this box here that we got from the Goodwill Online Auctions. So we thought it would be fun to open it with you. So are you ready? So I've got my trusty scissors here, and let's start opening our box. We love finding new dolls to add to our doll family, and we love giving dolls makeovers and fixing them up, but mainly we love giving them a new home. So we have been doing a little doll shopping, and I can't wait to actually see so many times when you buy from these online things, it's hard to tell just from a picture. So, we've got her all wrapped up in here. Put our box over there. Okay, yay! Now, this doll, the reason I have our Samantha here is because this one is another Samantha. But if you look at the American Girl dolls and through the years a lot of times they have a little bit of a different look to them Ooh, looky there so exciting so this one just looked like she might be a little bit different and I'll show you oh my goodness okay oh look at her eyelashes she does have a little bit of a spot right there on her cheek, but that doesn't look like it will be a problem. Now, look at her hair. Oh, she's really pretty. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see here. The little britches are falling down. Pull those up. Let's look back here. Okay, so she has the Pleasant Company marking. But her hair, oh, she's got a little flower in her hair. Get that out of there. All right, so I'm not 100% sure that's Samantha. I'm gonna have to do some looking. So let's see here. Okay, so what we have here is not Samantha. From the pictures, I thought I was getting Samantha. But she's not. And that's the risk we run when we shop like the Goodwill because you can't ask questions, you can't get better pictures. But what we do have is number 13. I did a little research to try to be able to explain the difference and know for sure because they do look an awful lot alike with the same face mold and um, same hair cut, basically. Um, 13 obviously doesn't have curly hair, but this kind of threw me because I was seeing little waves in here, and so I thought she possibly could have been Samantha, but she's not. And they say, from what I read, the best way to tell if it's Samantha or not is through their eyes. So what I'm gonna show you is Samantha has decal eyes, and so they look more painted, and then number 13 has the pinwheel eyes, but they're really, it's really, I had to get my flashlight on my phone out to tell. So let me show you and see if you can see the same difference that I see. But first, let me get her hair brushed and cleaned up just a little bit, and then we'll start talking about how we can tell the difference between number 13 and the real Samantha Parkington. We're back, and obviously I have removed their clothes so we can take a closer look at the differences in the bodies. Our number 13 looks much better. She still has a few flyaways and things that we'll have to deal with later, but for the sake of getting the video made, we're going to move forward. So, first off, like I was talking about, I was trying to research how you tell the difference between Samantha and the number 13. Now, as you can see, they are very similar. They have similarity in their face molds. Their hair is very, very similar as well. Now, Samantha has a curl to her hair. 
And you can see that Samantha's hair is just a little bit longer because even being curled it comes it hits just a little bit lower. Both of these are marked Pleasant Company. Now the difference here is our Samantha here is much older than this one here. This one we're figuring is about she's from the late 90s just when Mattel was taking over Pleasant Company and so she does have if you look here whoops see she does have the pleasant company marking however this marking is more for the later pleasant company dolls and she does have the long neck strings she has the straight sewn back and then her eyes so the difference between a Samantha doll and the 13 from what I have read is Samantha has decal eyes and the rest of like the truly me line which would be the girl of today she started out 13 is actually one of the dolls that has continued the whole line of when they started like girl of today and up to the truly me so but they have pinwheel eyes okay so with the light shining on her eyes hopefully that'll help you guys see but see how her eyes are more of a, um, let's see if I can get the light in there better. See how they're more of a pinwheel, how it swirls from the pupil. Now take a look over here at Samantha. Now her eyes, instead of swirling, they radiate out from the pupil. So kind of like, I don't know what a good way to describe it would be, it would be like eyelashes. Now if you also notice our Samantha over here, she is, notice how she looks like she's gazing kind of up into her eyelashes. Let me move that light out there. Okay, there, that's better. So look how she, so you can see the whites underneath her eyes there and how she looks like she's kind of daydreaming. In one of the, the Facebook groups that we're a part of, um, they have called these dolls dreamers. And I think, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, the Samanthas that were listed as dreamers was about 1987 so let me show you her pleasant company marking there it's in focus now that is one of the earlier ones then it with the c up here versus down here on the side that we have over here on number 13. and another telltale sign for aging your dolls is if you look at their strings the older Pleasant Company dolls had flat strings versus the later rounded strings like this one here. So the other difference that you can tell between these two dolls also, and it's kind of an aging factor as well, you notice this Samantha over here, she has no body tag. And that is, that is more typical of the older Pleasant Company dolls. Then these little short body tags that you see here, that signifies, it says on there, made in China exclusively for American Girl and then it has in Wisconsin on it. And that, they have said, is an identifying mark for the late 90s dolls, which would be how we can kind of date. So Samantha's more towards, our most educated guess is about 1987. And number 13 here, dating her, she is, the late 90s so more than likely she's probably 1998 um, to 1999 because she has the body tag but she also has still the Pleasant Company mold speaking of molds if you look here see the squishiness that she has versus the Mattel made dolls don't have near the squishiness. Now she's not quite as hard as some of our later Mattel dolls and it's the same in their arms as well. But you can really tell in their faces. But other than that, as you can tell, these two girls are pretty similar. Now it does look like if you look at the body shapes, our older Pleasant Company, she's got a wider body than our number 13 here and that is typical as well so now that we've kind of dated them a little bit and and that we know who we have we know this is the real samantha and this is a number 13. so let me go ahead and get them dressed again and we'll talk about the clothes that we got with her much much better we kind of invaded their privacy a little bit to look at all the details to get their ages and some of that thing so 
Now that we've got their clothes back, let's go ahead and let's look at number 13's clothes. It took me a while to actually find the name of this outfit. It was kind of hard to track down. I don't, from what I have understood, it is a fairly rare outfit. It's called the Beachside Outfit. And I think, if I remember right, it's about 2003 and it was out for several years before they retired it. And it is so cute. So it Velcros in the back and has the knot here at the with the little keyhole at the neckline. And then it has the, a real slide belt with the D-rings. And then the waist has, um, let's loosen that a little bit. I did that because her pants were actually loose around. <laughs> they were kind of falling down a little bit. So let's loosen it up. But this is a real working snap and then it has velcro here at the fly and then if you look down here look at the detailing look at the little x stitching on the side of the pant legs those are so cute these are not the sandals that come with the outfit the outfit actually comes with espadrilles which is a totally different style of shoe these I didn't look up to see where these were from I have seen these before though these slide on sandals with the embroidery flowers but also with the beachside outfit, there is supposed to be a, um, a hair bow with a, an elastic on it. It's a red um, bow that you can put in their hair. And it was supposed to be, it was for you or your doll. And then she was to come with some red dark lens sunglasses, which I actually had from another outfit that I had bought. I had Samantha actually wearing them. And I was like, oh my goodness, this kind of looks like the glasses that um, they show in the picture. So she would have had the sunglasses and then the hair bow and then of course the shoes. So anyway, we might pass those over to her. And since they're dressed all nautical, it's working out really well because we're actually putting together a skit over on We Imagine where the dolls are going to be entering a boat building contest. So keep on the lookout for that because you won't want to miss it. So there they are, number 13 and our Samantha Parkington. I hope that our initial mistake in identifying the doll actually has helped you in some way when you're looking to identify between the differences between the two. So there's a few of the differences and a little bit of how to kind of date your doll. So if this was any help at all, we hope that you'll give us a great big thumbs up because that really helps our channel and lets us know that we were of some help. And that's our collection for now. Bye!